In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. In a few minutes, we will continue together the series that we started a long time about the sacraments of the Church. And as you remember, we are speaking now about the third sacrament of the Church, which is repentance and confession. We spoke several times before about repentance and confession when we spoke about the, what is the meaning of repentance, what is the meaning of confession. And then we spoke about um, confession in the Old Testament, confession in the Old Testament. And then we moved on to speak about confession in the New Testament. Also, we spoke about the sayings of the fathers of the church concerning this sacrament. And also, we spoke about an institution of the sacrament by our Lord Jesus Christ himself. Today, we will continue speaking about the sacrament of repentance and confession, but we will speak about a very important point, which is what is the conditions of the true, the true repentance and confession? Because so many times we think that we fulfill the sacrament by just meeting with Abuna, saying anything, and that's it. And I go back to my mom and dad, I go back to my servant, I go back to Abuna, and I feel that I did what I can do. I finished my task, that I went to Abuna and sat down with him. What did I tell him? It's not important. What is my feeling? It's not important. What I will do next? It's not important. Of course, this is not right. The true confession and repentance has to have some conditions, has to have some points we have to achieve in order to feel and truly be true repentant and confessors. So what are those conditions? What are those conditions? Please be attentive because this is very important, especially for those who are young and start their life of confession with their father of confession. Number one condition that I have to regret. And we're going to ask you what is the meaning of regret. I have to regret doing a sin or the sin. With a humble heart, I have to regret doing the sin with a humble heart. I have to regret not fearing punishment, but for our love for God. Again, the number one condition for the true repentance is I have to regret doing sin with a humble heart, not fearing punishment, but for my love to God. For my love to God. What is the meaning of regret? Can anybody tell me? Stop. Stop. Hmm. Feeling, bad Feeling bad for what you did. That's exactly the meaning. Regretting means feeling bad of what I did and when I feel bad about something I will never do it again I will try my best not to do again right so this is the meaning of regretting something that I did before tell you the truth we have to be honest we have to be honest with ourselves without being biased without uh, uh, you know being too harsh on ourselves nor to soften ourselves, to abandon sin.
Saying that, I hope you understand that during repentance and confession, it doesn't mean to confess that I give excuses to myself. I went to Abuna and I say, Abuna, I did so and so and so. But you know why, Abuna? Because this person did that to me and, and I was so angry, so I did this. Now I start to put excuses for myself. When I confess, I should not put excuses for myself. Straightforward, I did this. I am sorry, Abuna. I regret doing that. I hope God will help me not to do it again. That's it. This is the true repentance and confession. But starting to put excuses for myself, oh, I'm, uh, you know, because uh, the, the circumstances, the people around me, uh, they make me to do that. No, this is not a repentance. This is not a confession. So, not finding excuses for ourselves, and sometimes we do more. Not only find excuses for ourselves, but blame others. We blame others. Oh, because my friend pinched me first, so I pinch him back. That's totally unacceptable. This is not a confession. You are not coming to Abuna, or not, you are not going to Abuna to attack others or to condemn others. You have to be honest with yourself, not for others. So I have to be honest. I have to be honest. When I, did some, when I do something, I did it. I did it. And that's it. King Solomon advised us a very, very nice verse. I want you to, to listen to it and to know it by heart. Do not say before the messenger of God, and messenger here means priest. Do not say before the messenger of God that it was an error. Means, don't put an excuse. It was a mistake, not an error. There is difference between the two. Mistake means, I did it deliberately, but I know it is wrong. Error means, I did it without knowing. So we have to be firm with ourselves. When you go to Abuna, when you confess, you listen to me? When you confess, you have to be straightforward. You have to be what? Straightforward. I did this sin and I regret to do that. And I will never do it again with the help of God. Okay? So number one condition for the true repentance and confession is to regret doing sin with a humble heart and not finding excuses for ourselves or condemn others. Number two, very important, the determination of correcting our path and returning away from sin. We have to examine our conscience and ourselves. We have to examine them carefully to be aware of the sins that's committed either by deed or by word or by any of the senses that we have so that we may not fall into sin again. A person must be fair with himself or herself. As we say before, not to be sympathetic nor too harsh. Doubtful or anxious, but rather should confess with a straightforward, with a straightforward and mature conscience. One of the important points of determination is to confess bravely. What is the meaning of to confess bravely? Confess bravely without embarrassment. And this is a very important point. I want you to listen to it. When you, go to, you, when you go to confess to Abuna, confess bravely. Be brave. Don't be embarrassed. 
all the sins and all its details. And if the priest asks about anything concerning certain points, one must not complain or hide, but answer honest, honestly, knowing that it is for your benefit that the priest will provide you with useful advice. So many times we, we meet with people and they ask us, Abuna, can, can we just tell uh, uh, the things that we can speak about, but the things that, that we feel embarrassed uh, about, we are not going to say. And uh, Otsak, uh, read the absolution for us, and that's it. This is not a confession. This is not a true confession. You have to be brave in front of the sin that you committed. You have to stand before the sin and say, I don't want to do you again. I don't want to commit the sin again. And in order to be brave, I have to utter it from my mouth. Abuna, I did so and so and so and so. I'm not going to hide anything. I'm not going to tell you something, Abuna, and by your mind, you catch what I, what I need to say. No, 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 no. We are not playing games. We have to be honest. We have to, to, to be straightforward. Abuna, I did this sin, and I confess that I did it. I regret that I did it, and I ask your prayer not to do it again. No matter what is the sin is, even if it is embarrassing, I have to say it. And if you don't know how to say it, you have to try once and twice and three times. You have to start from now. I'm speaking to the young people that in front of me now. You have to start from now with your father of confession to be honest to be straightforward and to be brave in your confession. Don't hide anything because it's for your benefit. You know, always the insects, you know the insects? If you put light, they run away. They don't like light, right? Sin exactly is like insect in your body. If you put light on it, it will run away from you. So I advise every and each one of you to put the light, means to expose it in front of Abuna. Put the light so the sin can run away or would run away. And you will be free from sin with the grace of God. So number one of the true confession and repentance is, huh? Hmm. Nisena. Regret doing the sin with a humble heart. Not finding any excuse for ourselves. Number two. I just said it, huh? Be honest and brave in saying what you did. Determination of correcting my path. Number three, and the last point we're going to say today, because we don't have much time, and next time we're going to have more. You have to know very important fact. You have to believe, and you have to trust, and you have to have the faith that the blood of Christ, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, is the remitter and the cleanser of my sins. As it is said in 1 John, the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. Also, there is another verse in Ephesians 1.7. In Him we have redemption through His blood, that the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of His grace. So the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ that we receive from the altar is the cleanser of our sins. So now somebody smart will ask, 
Abuna, if the blood is the cleanser and remitter of my sin, why do I have to repent? And why do I have to go to Abuna to confess? I like the question. Very nice. You're smart. But you forget one thing. One thing that confession and repentance, I'm sorry, cleansing and forgiveness of sins, it is not a point. It is a process. Start, this process starts with repentance and go through confession end with taking the Eucharist. That's why the church always tells us you have to repent. You have to stay with, uh, uh, st uh, have a confession session with your father of confession before you come to take the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. So the answer for your question is that the forgiveness of sins is a process. Start with repentance from my sight. End with the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ given to me for the remission of sins. Okay? Now we said three things, three important points for the true confession and repentance. Next time, God willing, we're going to have another two or three. Okay? And glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. Maren und Stempen so